Oh. Okay mga kaibigan, so ito na ang full review ko sa Infinix 05G 2023 after one week. And tulad ng binanggit ko sa previous video ko, yes, uh, after one week ng pagtetest na ito, definitely mas magandang value to kumpara sa X5 Pro or kahit yung regular na Poco X5. And really ang masabi ko ng main advantage talaga ng Poco X5 series kumpara dito sa uh, 05G is ito IPS LCD and yun is AMOLED display yun. At least on paper, yun yung nakikita ko na main advantage ng Poco X5. And masabi ko na kaagad sa simula pa lang ng video na to is this is definitely the best brand new uh, 12,000 peso smartphone na mabibili mo ngayon. Take note up for a brand new smartphone kasi if sasabihin ko na smartphones in general is isasama ko doon ang mga used smartphones which uh, definitely mas madaming mga uh, mga used smartphones na better in value kumpara dito sa 05G. And for the sake of this video is tatawagin ko na lang to na 05G and hindi ko na sasabihin na 05G 2023. So understood na yon na ang tinutukoy ko sa video na to isang latest model ng 05G. So regarding din sa comments nyo sa previous uh, first impressions video ko dito is madami mga nag-complain sa inyo tungkol sa battery life nito for graining too fast. Uh, address ko yun dito pero baka ma-disappoint kayo sa experience ko dito sa 05G ko. And of course, unang-una is ang full spec list ng uh, 05G. And tabili ko nga to sa Shopee for 11599 as of making this video din. Yun din yung price nito So basically, 12K. And available din in 3 color options. So meron tayong pearly white which is yung nasa akin nga ngayon. Uh, meron din yung coral orange and submarine black. Pero take note, and di ko talaga alam to before buying the 05G is iba pala yung texture ng back ng orange and black color options nito which is parang faux leather finish siya. And dito lang ata sa white variant yung may glossy smooth finish. Parang almost freaking yun na glass back to pero plastic back nga to. And of course subjective to pero para sa akin ang pinakamaganda na color variant nito is yung nasa akin nga ngayon. Kaya ito nga yung binili ko yung pearly white na color option. So pagdating naman sa build quality and design you have glass at the front which uh, hindi actually in-indicate ni Infinix if Corning Gorilla Glass nga ba to, pero still. Sa one week na ginagamit ko is wala naman ako na-accumulate na scratches sa display nito Tapos plastic frame, plastic back nga. And for the most part, solid naman yung build ng phone na to. There is just, as nakita nyo man, tiny bit of flex lang if I try to bend it. And from the other side, nothing too major unless na lang kung minabalibag mo yung phone mo or bodybuilder ka eh baka pwede mong masira yung phone na to. And pagdating naman sa design nito is ang pinaka gusto ko dito is yung back which uh, ironically is yung hindi mo talaga nakikita kapag ginagamit mo yung phone. But nevertheless, ang ganda nung parang curved glass uh, appearance nito na nag-originate mula pa sa Oppo Find X3 Pro. So I like that. And dito sa white color option na to is if titignan mo yung camera bump straight on is sobrang sa na lang as in ang elegant niyang tignan for the most part. And ang ayoko lang siguro sa part na to is Kahit na may camera bump na tayo is, yeah, nagpo-protrude pa din yung mga camera lens which, uh, ewan ko talaga kung bakit ganun. Like, hindi ba nila pwedeng gawin na flash na lang dito sa camera bump yung mga rings pero yun. Tapos sa back nga, may nakalagay tayo dito na 05G sa may cameras is, uh, yun nga, may nakaprint nga dito na 50 megapixel AI camera tapos yung specs mismo ng camera. Quad LED flash and yung triple cameras nga neto which, uh, kung ako tatanungin, um, ang tingin ko lang dito is single camera lang siya kasi legit ang walang kwenta ng <laughs> two other cameras nito. But of course, mamaya ako nga i-discuss yun. So, sa so right side nga, nandyan yung uh, power button slash fingerprint scanner which is uh, really snappy and accurate for the most part. Very nice. And uh, nandyan din sa taas yung volume rocker. Sa taas is yung uh, noise cancelling microphone. May nakalagay din dyan nga pala. Yan, regarding din sa design is nakalagay nga dyan powered by Infinix. Sa left side is yung uh, SIM card tray and sa bottom is yung uh, 3.5mm headphone jack, main microphone, uh, USB Type-C charging port and single bottom firing speaker. So no, uh, wala tayong dual stereo speakers dito. And siguro pinaka ayoko talaga sa design nito is up front. Hindi yung display mismo pero yung uh, side bezels niya which uh, is definitely thicker than what I would like considering din sa price nito I can't really complain. But yeah, that's something to take note na 
thicker lalo na tong ano bottom bezel na to tapos sa taas nga is yung hole punch para sa 16 megapixel uh, front facing camera with a thick outer ring around it tapos uh, yung earpiece speaker grill tapos moving on naman sa display na to which is actually pretty good so uh, IPS LCD nga to 1080p tapos 120hz and uh, masasuggest ko sa inyo is uh, leave it on at 120hz at all times kahit na may option ka for an auto switch refresh rate kasi ang napansin ko kahit na nasa auto switch uh, refresh rate ka is for example if nasa home ka lang is nasa 120hz pa din siya uh, unless na lang kung nasa specific apps ka for example ito sa uh, Facebook ilalak niya ngayon sa 60hz so for example if nag scroll ka is yeah 60hz nga yan and it doesn't feel good. So parang yung auto switch refresh rate na to na option ng Infinix is para lang isipin mo siguro ng LTPO display to which is not, uh, it doesn't go all the way down to 1Hz. Uh, it just goes to 60Hz and kahit na nasa home ka is nasa 120Hz ka pa din. Unless na nga lang if may mga pupuntahan kang specific apps na ilalock nyo naman ngayon sa 60Hz. So, yun. And kahit na lock na yan sa 120Hz is great yung battery life dito sa ano uh, 05G which actually medyo spoiler sa sasabihin ko mamaya tungkol sa battery nga nito. Tapos for the most part naman plenty readable outdoors to kahit under direct sunlight although not the brightest in the world but hey plenty readable pa din nevertheless. Pretty good na din yung colors nito for an IPS LCD display kahit na almost budget price segment na to and uh, pagdating naman sa viewing angles is uh, pretty good din yung uh, viewing angles niya even uh, when viewing it at extreme angles and yeah it's not as vibrant and as colorful as an AMOLED display pero the fact na 120Hz nga to is just great so thumbs up naman for the most part sa display na itong uh, 05G tapos pagdating naman sa cameras na itong 05G again uh, sinasabi ko kanina na wag nyo nalang pansinin yung <laughs> Uh, 2 to megapixel sensors nyan and uh, talagang ang main star of the show pagdating sa camera is yung 50 megapixel main sensor na yun f1.6 yan with face detection autofocus so super snappy yung uh, autofocus nito and taking pictures in the default photo mode you can get some really nice photos out of this even for a mid-range smartphone you get good colors na hindi siya oversaturated good dynamic range and pagdating naman sa low light performance is respectable performer to actually so it does a good job in eliminating noise although uh, most details can become too soft and highly suggested ko na wag nyo actually gamitin yung super night mode nito as eto yung result na makukuha mo sobrang artificial and actually parang pinadaan sa cartoon filter yung uh, picture na to so as is kahit wala na yung super night mode nito is Oh, basta yun, huwag nyo nang gamitin yung night mode na ito. And you can take some pretty good selfies then gamit yung 16 megapixel na front facing camera. And if magtitake ka naman ng selfies at night or in low light situations, is meron din naman tong front facing uh, na dual LED flash yan, which actually late din ko realize uh, while reviewing this phone. And regarding the sensors, ang babaguhit ko lang talaga dito actually, ang sana ginawa na lang ng Infinix dito, is tinanggal nila yung dalawang 2 megapixel sensors na yan, tapos pinalitan na lang nila ng isang ultra-wide sensor. Pero unfortunately, hindi ngayon ginawa ng Infinix. So, ayun. Tapos, kung sakaling into macro photography ka nga, is legit. Mas magandang gamitin mo na lang yung main cam, tapos i-zoom in mo. Okay, so ito ang 4K video test using the 05G uh, at 30fps. And what you're hearing right now is from the main microphone. And meron din siyang steady recording, pero uh, hindi siya available in 4K. So, 1080p mo nga lang siya magagamit. And if naka-headphones kayo or earbuds habang pinapanood nyo tong video na to, is kung napansin nyo dun sa 4K video test na yon is mas malakas yung audio sa left channel. Like, significantly louder yung audio sa left channel kumpara sa right. And nakala ko parang hardware problem yun sa specific unit ko. Uh, pero chinay ko actually sa ibang video na kinocover yung 05G na yeah, ganun nga yung audio output mula sa microphones na itong 05G which uh, confused ako kasi hindi nila napansin yun or kinover dun sa video nila. So yes, sinasabi ko nga yun dito. And yung problem na yun for the most part naman is uh, mapifix mo in post-production pero of course, ang hassle nun. But yeah, something to take note nga sa microphones na itong uh, 05G. Okay, so ito naman yung vlog test gamit ang uh, 05G recording at 1080p uh, 30 FPS and unfortunately wala siyang 4K option for the front facing camera and still what you're hearing right now is from the main microphone and this is without steady recording turned on. Uh, ayoko actually on yung steady recording para sa phone na to since if on yung steady recording is sobrang 
uh, significant ng crop niya pero as is naman okay na siya actually kahit na hindi mo i-on yung steady recording so ewan ko kung mapifix nila yung issue na to through a software update but uh, yeah for the most part yung camera system dito sa 05G is uh, really solid and pagdating sa performance is panalong panalo to sa fresh yung 12K is yeah masabi ko siyang panalong panalo performance nito uh, hindi lang sa gaming yung day to day na ano just scrolling through the UI opening closing apps consuming media ganon social media and ang kagandahan nga dito is yung only configuration ng 05G is with 8 gigs of memory and 256 gigs of storage which hindi uh, in-specify na Infinix if anong type ng UFS storage to. Pero assume ko at least nasa UFS 2.1 o 2.2 storage to. So yeah, opening closing apps is definitely snappy for this phone. Uh, no problem sa multitasking, sa kung ano pang itraw mo dito. And kahit nasa gaming. And sa mga magtatanong din dyan is wala tong problema sa ibang games na itraw nyo dito. Mapa ML man yan, uh, Call of Duty Mobile, PUBG Mobile. Uh, wild Drift ganon. Kasi pretty much pagdating sa mga gaming test is uh, Genshin Impact lang talaga yung test ko na pinapakita on video. Kasi ito na yung at least I think so yung pinaka demanding na Android game out right now. Unless na lang kung may ibang Android game dyan na mas demanding dito na hindi ako aware of. Tapos dito nga sa Genshin Impact is nakaset to sa high preset. Take note, um, high, hindi highest. Tapos at 60fps with motion blur turned off. Na while kaya mo naman i-run ng Genshin dito at the highest settings at 60fps, uh, makaka-experience ka actually ng mga micro stutters. And uh, itong high settings is definitely not the smoothest. Pero ito na sa akin yung parang combination ng eye candy and smooth uh, frame rate naman. So kung gusto mo talaga na as in wala kang stutter na mararamdaman is sa uh, set mo sa medium preset and 60fps. Of course, uh, depende na sa inyo if gusto nyong i-on yung uh, motion blur which alam nyo naman, I'm not really a fan of. So, ayun nga. So, bam, bam. And pagdating naman actually sa speakers nito is madami din actually mga nag-complain uh, dun sa previous first impressions video ko na ang pangit ng speakers nito and ang hina daw ganun, hindi maganda yung quality. And while yeah, inaamin ko na hindi ganun kaganda yung quality nito, uh, yung loudness is definitely an improvement mula sa sobrang basura na speaker nung uh, 2022 na 05G. So pagdating sa loudness is solid siya although basically parang walang bass siya and uh, okay naman for the most part yung mids and highs niya. And yeah, wala naman talaga ako kung iko complain sa speakers nito considering everything else you're getting at this price. Ah uh, yeah, you can't really complain about the speakers sa uh, 05G. And ewan ko kung may mga mga hype pa din sa 5G, pero sinubukan ko ba din nevertheless yung performance ng 5G sa area namin versus 4G. So yan yung ibig ko sabihin na wag kayo magpadala sa 5G. Although uh, nice na din siya, uh, 5G is more of a feature proofing feature sa phone na to. And pagtitingin naman sa mga features nito, is madami actually mga additional functions dito sa special function na tab. Tapos uh, to be honest, I don't find most of these helpful. Siguro yung smart panel lang yung ginagamit ko. Which basically, you can swipe either from the left or the right edge of the screen. Tapos yan, uh, meron ka ng volume toggle. Lalo na to people with smaller hands na hindi kayang i-reach. Siguro yung uh, volume rockers nito. Tapos meron pa mga additional mga apps na nandiyan and mga functions. So, uh, may mga QR code scanner ka pa dyan. Lock, take a screenshot, and uh, yan. And isang bagay pala na munti ko na makalimutan pagdating sa thermals naman. Uh, while playing Genshin Impact for about 30 minutes, is ang pinaka-highest temp na nakuha ko dito, na measure ko is uh, 42 degrees Celsius lang. So, very nice naman. Pagdating sa performance dito sa uh, 05G is definitely 2 thumbs up to. Like, sobrang sulit pa lang sa performance nito uh, sa price na 12K. And dito na nga tayo sa pinaka main complaint na nareceive ko sa previous video ko dito is ang lala daw ng performance nung 5,000 mAh battery na nandito. So, sasabihin ko na kagad yung battery experience ko dito. Sa medium to heavy use ko, using social media, watching videos, mainly on TikTok and YouTube, uh, some gaming and picture taking, I was able to get 6 hours of screen on time with over 50% left by the end of the day. So, for me, almost a 2-day battery life, although baka hindi to mag-survive sa second day ko na gagamitin to. Pero for most people, is assume ko, easily a 2-day battery life to and hindi mo kailangang i-charge yung phone na to 
every night. So sa mga nagko-complain nga tungkol sa better life nito is feeling ko and uh, ito lang sa tingin ko ha ah, is yung mga unang batch ata ng 05G yung may problema sa battery. So kahit na 2023 model na to ng Infinix 05G is uh, na-release actually to ng December of 2022. So yun lang naman yung theory ko. I'm not so sure na yung unang batch nga nito is yung may mga issues sa battery life. Pero yun nga, I'm getting a great battery life mula dito sa 05G 2 thumbs up din para sa akin. And pagdating naman sa charging nito, kahit na this has yan 33 watts of fast charging, is this charges from 1% to 100 in 1 hour and 30 minutes. So it's not really a big deal siguro okay pa din naman yan for 33 watts. Pero ang nakasanayan ko kasi na when charging a 5000 mAh battery at 33 watts is from 1% to 100 in 1 hour and 10 minutes. So parang by default kasi is minalalagay na safe charging feature yung Infinix sa mga smartphones nila which honestly I don't really like as significantly uh, na decrease yung uh, na increase pala in this case yung charging time ng phone but considering din na hindi naman nag overheat yung phone is yeah wala naman ako complain and yeah overall yung 05G is definitely a complete package yun ang masasabi ko ngayon complete package yung phone na to so kung naghanap ka ng kompleto talaga na uh, mid-range smartphone for 12K nga lang to actually siguro the complete package minus Uh, dual stereo speakers. So para sa akin, sobrang no-brainer na sa akin to for 12K yung Infinix Zero 5G 2023. And again, if binabalak mo pangalan na bilhin yung Poco X5 or X5 Pro is para sa akin nga way better value to. Like you're getting way more for your money sa Zero uh, 5G. And if siguro hindi kita na convinced na bilhin tong Zero uh, 5G And ang gusto mo is something better talaga kumpara dito. Significantly better. Pero you don't mind spending a bit more. Is easily mararecommend ko uh, as of making this video. Kasi you can buy the Poco X4 GT for 16K. So para sa akin, the best brand new smartphone that you can buy for 16K. Or just a little over uh, 15,000 pesos. But yeah, that's gonna do it for now. If gusto nyo ang bilhin yung uh, 05G is I'll leave the links in the description. Gamitin nyo of course yung uh, Shopee and Lazada affiliate links ko. Malaking tulong yun sa akin. Uh, leaving a like of course is the easiest way to support the channel. Uh, consider subscribing if you like my content and turn on notifications for all so you'll be updated on my latest videos. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace! Still got a chance.